Speaking after the competition that saw three schools emerging as standouts, Central Regional Adolescent Health Coordinator Emma Delali Foley indicated the initiative was simply to offer the students the platform to embark on a project that will help bring out solutions. It's important because adolescent health also based on the pillar that the adolescents themselves should be involved when it comes to uh, implementing interventions for adolescents. So this is a step in the right direction to involve the adolescents themselves to come out with interventions that will work for them. And that's how come we are in involved the adolescents, uh, basically the schools, because they are in a confined area where interventions can actually be implemented. So when it comes to gender, sexual and gender-based violence, um, Ghana Health Service has stakeholders or collaborators that we work with, like Dove Sue, like uh, Ghana Education Service, like uh, Department of Social Welfare. And so we are leading the, the pace for, for the intervention to be implemented, supported by UNFPA. However, whatever happens in the school, if a case is recorded, then Dove Sue needs to be involved through the uh, district or municipal education office. So it's not just Ghana Health Service, but all collaborators that, uh, has, that work in the area of sexual and gender-based violence are brought on board. The students came along with their teachers and school nurses and did a presentation with three judges assigned to rate the presentation. The teachers and school nurses have been sharing their thoughts with Joy News. So per our point, we said we are going to give education to all students and we gave out dates and we invite a resource personnel. Afterwards, we will give counseling to the survivors. We don't call them victims again. We call them survivors. Then we we'll train ambassadors, some of the students as ambassadors to help create the awareness and then to effect change. Then we'll make a, a box of hope that survivors or victims can write their concerns and drop it in it so that we will trace them and then give them the needed help. The message we are sending back to our school community is that gender-based violence cannot be condoned. It cannot and must not also be swept under the carpet. At the moment, we have some victims who have been named, shamed and maybe jailed. So going forward, my school community should be aware of whatever is involved so that possibly they will stay away from it. A Futu Secondary Technical School Obriya Bua Senior High School and Potentia Amedia School from the Gomua East District emerged champions.